Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. A few years back, the US Army initiated the Armored Multipurpose Vehicle, AMPV, program to replace the aging M113 Armored Personnel Carrier and its variations. Three companies presented designs to fulfill this need. BAE Systems proposed a turretless version of the M2A3 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle, dubbed the Turtless Bradley. General Dynamics offered a tracked version of the Striker Armored Personnel Carrier, Term Striker plus TR. Navistar Defense presented a modified Max Pro. Ultimately, in 2014, BAE Systems was chosen as the winner and awarded the initial production contract. Consequently, the U.S. Army adopted a turretless infantry fighting vehicle as its standard armored personnel carrier. A prototype, the XM-1283, was introduced in 2016, with low-rate production starting in 2020. Deliveries to the U.S. Army are believed to have commenced the same year. Initially, five variants of the AMPV were ordered. The M-1283, M-1284, M-1285, M-1286, and M-1287. During the initial phase, it was planned to deliver over 2,900 of these armored vehicles to replace the M113 and its variants. More AMPV variants are likely to be developed and adopted by the U.S. Army in the near future. The M1283 is based on the turtless M2A3 Bradley, featuring a reconfigured crew compartment with significantly more internal volume than the M113A3, 78% more internal volume. Consequently, this armored vehicle can carry more cargo or equipment. Variants of the M1283 feature different roof sections with varying heights, allowing for a wide range of configurations suited to different battlefield roles. The new armored vehicle offers better protection than the previous M113 APCs. Protection for the M1283 is thought to be similar to that of the Bradley M2A3 IFE. It features a welded aluminum armor hull, with the front arc having space laminated aluminum and steel armor. This front arc likely provides protection against 30mm armor-piercing rounds, while all-round protection is against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. The interior is lined with a Kevlar anti-spall liner, and it is equipped with explosive reactive armor blocks and cage armor for increased protection against shoulder-launched rockets and anti-tank missiles. The vehicle has a V-shaped hull floor and reinforced steel plates for enhanced protection against landmines and eye blasts. It can also be fitted with a jamming system to prevent detonation of radio-controlled IEDs and features an NBC protection system. The M1283 is currently among the most protected APCs globally. The baseline M1283 has a crew of two and can accommodate six dismounts. There's a current trend to reduce the number of soldiers carried by armored vehicles to minimize casualties in case of destruction or encountering landmines. Troops enter and exit the vehicle via a rear power-operated ramp, with roof hatches provided for observation and emergency exit. Equipped with a shielded 12.7mm heavy machine gun, the baseline M1283 primarily serves roles such as escort, emergency resupply, casualty evacuation, and security for medical evacuation. Sharing the same chassis as the Bradley M2A3 IFV and M109A7 howitzer, the M1283 offers a high degree of commonality among these vehicles. It's possible that older M2 IFVs and M3 armored reconnaissance vehicles could be converted into the new AMPVs. Powered by a Cummins VTA 903T600 diesel engine delivering 600 horsepower, the M1283 boasts good cross-country mobility, keeping pace with main battle tanks. In terms of mobility, it surpasses modern tracked armored personnel carriers. Though tracked vehicles are generally more expensive to produce, maintain, and operate. With some preparation, the M1283 can operate amphibiously, propelled by its tracks while on water. As of 2015, the unit price of the AMPV was around $3.7 million per vehicle, though this could vary depending on the specific variant. That's all for now, see you later.